are you all understanding it well any difficulties okay so with this we have finished the chapter body fluids we studied about the evolution of heart we studied about the human heart both external and the internal the the flow of the heart how the heart works uh then the cardiac cycle the volumes of the heart the disorders related to heart then we studied about the portal system not portal uh, yeah we studied no not here then we studied about the lymphatic system lymph the difference between the blood and the lymph so we have finished most of the part any difficulties with this there is is there any difficulties and about the blood blood cells we have studied in the beginning of the chapter if you remember we did about rbcs wbcs platelets in detail in the first chapter so if if this chapter is included you need to include the blood part over here also the blood part will come under body fluids and also under the connective tissue are you getting the point yes ma'am any difficulties to anyone is there any difficulties to anyone so can we start the new chapter today before i want to move to the new chapter i want you all to clear me with this chapter are you facing any difficulties with this chapter any doubts come on you to speak quickly there is no time Aditi Kamat, Dia. One part of the blood was missed. Which part, Rishikesh? Which part? why heart is equal there prabhu they say which part come on tell me quickly okay anyway if you're not responding let's move to the next topic the next topic is write down excretory system the next topic to
Okay. Are you all finished writing what is excretion and what is the function of excretory system? Hmm? Hello? Hello? What happened? Are you not able to hear me? Are you able to hear me? Yes, ma'am. Why don't you reply? I asked you a question. Can we move ahead? Are you done writing excretion? What is excretion and the function of excretory system? No, ma'am. Please wait. No, ma I'm audible. Can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Please write down. Once it's done, do let me know.
So the excretion, the excretory system, the main function is one is excretion, that's removal of waste. Other is to maintain the osmoregulation, osmolarity of the body. So this is a two important function performed by excretory system. Done. Okay, next. Excretory organs in animals. So you know there is an evolution of excretory organ also. In vertebrates, we all have the kidney. But as the lower organism, there are different uh, organs or the tissues or cells that perform or the glands that perform the to perform as excretory system or the osmoregulators. For example, in organ uh, in platforms, in platforms, flamesins or protonephridia. We have studied in animal kingdom how different phylums had different uh, organs or the cells for the excretion system. So platforms is protonephridia, then uh, nephridia for annelids. Then malfigen tubules for insects, cockroach, we have studied malfigen tubules, right? That is insects. Prawns, we have studied about the green glands in prawns. Spiders, coxal glands, molars, organs of bojans, and all the vertebrates, kidney. So the different level of organization for the development of the kidney that took place for different phylums. So uh, questions can be from here. Insect question, malfusion tubule is a very favorite question. Green gland, coxy gland, many times this question is asked. Nephridia, even the nephridia and also the vertebrates. So please write down this table quickly. Ma'am, hmm? Ma what is the second, uh, second last one? Organs of bojans, that is mollusk. Mollusk, okay, give me an example for mollusk quickly. Snail. Hmm? Snail. Snail, very good. What's the name of the scientific name of the snail? Phyla. Very nice. Devilfish. Yes, very good. So you yeah, have uh, really prepared well huh, for uh, non-coded parts. For the next test, I'm telling you now. Now itself, start preparing the notes. That is for codex. The next test will be on codex. Clear. Remember, why is it cracking? Next. Ma'am, finish the next test. Loligo is what, Sanjana? What happened? Okay, next. Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, mm. ma what is a uh, prawns? For prawns, it is green gland. Green glands, yes. Acha neopoilina, yes. You're telling the examples, fine. Okay. Are you are you are you done? Green glands is for prawns. 
My voice is cracking. Is it for everyone? Is my voice cracking to all, ma'am? When is the next test? That will be with the timetable. It will be with the timetable. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Now, excretory products. See, what are the excretory products? There are three main excretory products: ammonia, urea, and uric acid. Ammonia, the animals that excrete ammonia are said to be ammonotelic animals. The animals that excrete urea, urotelic animals. The animals that excrete uric acid is uricotelic animals. So, basically, a different animals based on the habitat where they live. Sam, please re-log in and check. Sam, please re-log in and check. Please, please. I'll wait for you. Come soon. So there are three main excretory products. One is ammonia, urea, and uric acid. This, the type of habitat the animals live, they excrete those products. Clear? When the animals excrete ammonia, they are called ammonotelic animals. When the animals excrete urea, ureotelic animals. When the animal excrete uric acid. Said to be uricotelic animals. Getting the point? Yes. I'm going to scroll up a bit. Scroll up. Okay. Man, a little bit more. More. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Is it done? So, which are three main excretory products? Ammonia, urea, uric acid. Is it clear to all? Clear to all? Yes, ma'am. Next. Okay. Uh, before we move, there's a small part of clotting. Let us write down. Coming back to body fluids, very small part that we missed. Uh, let us write down. That's an important part. Volumes of heart. After clotting, a pale yellow liquid that oozes out. If you have seen, after the clot, there's a pale yellow liquid that surrounds the clot. What it is called as? Anyone? Serum. Very nice. We forgot to mention about the serum. Very good. So, after a clotting, a pale yellow liquid oozes out from clot. From clot. Call as serum. Okay. In which antibodies are found? In which antibodies? Are found. So if this is a clot, if this is a clot, okay, fibrin with cells, then surrounding the clot, there is fluid. That yellow color fluid. This fluid is called as serum. And this is clot. Are you getting the point?
do you think uh, serum can serum can clot do you think serum can clot can serum clot very good no can lymph clot can lymph clot no ma'am lymph lymph oh yes ma'am lymph can clot why because it has plasma protein but serum cannot clot are you getting the point okay good now tell me uh, when we take out the blood in the blood in the body the blood do not clot like unless it doesn't clot it keeps on flowing what is the factor or the component that present in the blood helps the blood to be in the liquid form rather than the rather than the clotting which factor or which molecule that keeps the blood in the liquid form very important question come on tell me very nice lisa it is heparin who secretes heparin heparin is an anticoagulant heparin is an anticoagulant secreted by mast cells secreted by mast cells aditi screen is frozen is it frozen to all is the screen frozen to all and it prevents a blood clotting in the blood vessels no ma'am and it prevents blood aditi please re log in and come back clotting in blood vessels Here. So, are you all there? Understood this part? Yes, heroin also. Heroin, heroin in leech. Leech has heroin. That is a natural anticoagulant, right? Now, my question is: Listen to this. Uh, when we take out the blood out of the body after a few minutes does it going to clot or it will remain the fluid when we take out the blood from the body is the blood remains to be a fluidity or it go its form a clumps or a clot it gets clot so in the blood bank when they um store right what will be the condition of the blood it's a fluid or a clot in the blood bank when they withdraw the blood what is the condition of the blood what they store it's a fluid how do you think after removing the blood from the body still the blood in the blood banks remains to be fluid it it doesn't get clot have you thought what is the reason anyone heparin heparin is a, no not heparin it cannot pour heparin see heparin is found in the leech yes we uh, do that but it's not heparin they do not use heparin heparin is a they add no they do not add heparin if you add heparin also like for how long do you think that remains uh, this unclot which ion is required for the activation of the um activation of the clotting factors which ion is required calcium so what they do is they add a metal chelator okay that can remove the calcium from the blood if you remove the calcium from the blood for the activation of factors for the clotting factors it requires a calcium if there is no calcium do you think the blood can clot the factors can get activate they do not get activate so whenever if you have observed whenever they take a withdraw the sample of blood they use a special test tube have you seen they use a different kind of a test tubes 
when they withdraw a sample from your blood uh, from your body so that test tubes are lined by a metal chelator for example edda so write down to prevent to prevent clotting to prevent clotting in donated blood blood banks often add often add edda ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid or citrates or ox uh, oxalates that removes the calcium that removes calcium blood store at the blood bank is at 4 degree blood stores at blood bank is please write down this done any doubts any doubts
so this is the end of the chapter of uh, circulatory system body fluids Rishikesh, did you want the first part of it? Okay. So, um, we'll continue the class in the next class about the excretory system. The main excretory products are ammonia, urea, and the uric acid. Ammonia is uh, basically, which is highly toxic. Among all these three, the highly toxic is ammonia. Is it clear? So do you think the ammonia can be stored in the body if it's highly toxic? Do you think ammonia can be stored in the body if it's highly toxic? No, so it has to be excreted out as it is formed because it is highly toxic. And I said this different this excretion like ammonia, urea, uric acid depends on the habitat where the animal is living. This removal of ammonia requires a lot of water. Removal of ammonia is required a lot of water water. So which organism do you think excrete ammonia? <coughs> which organism do you think excrete ammonia? Aquatic, very good. The animals that live in or nearby water will excrete ammonia, which is highly toxic, which requires water. What does the human excrete? Human excrete what? Urea, very good. And give me an example of uric acid, the animal that excrete uric acid. Uric acid, we have studied this. One of the example we know that. We know one of the example for the uric acid. Yes, human urea, I agree. Example for uric acid. Cockroach, very nice. Do you remember insects? 
excrete uric acid uricotelic as uricotelism uricotelic animals is cockroach are you getting the point so in the next class we'll be studying about the difference between the ammonia urea and uric acid clear this we'll do in the next class any doubts for today's class amen we find up mm -hmm. what are the three main i i, I Hmm? What? Uh, what are the three main excretive system products? Three. You want to see? It's one is ammonia, urea, uric acid. Write down ammonia, urea, uric acid. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Uh, we'll more detail. We'll be discussing in the next class. Clear to all. Any doubts? No, right? No, ma'am. So, can we wind up for today? Okay, then. See you all in the next class. Bye bye. Take care. You're welcome. Bye.